Good morning, Life Friday. Today is Wednesday, March 3rd, and it is a gold even day. Welcome to the Morning Bruce March Monthly Show. This month we will be covering a variety of topics from how our winter sports went to how the efforts brought to diversifying texts in Life Braddock went. Let's, Let's get, get started! started. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lake Braddock students got a surprise with new improvements to the building. Let's dive into why our school got them. Lake Braddock has redone and imputed new features around the building to welcome students back. Let's take a closer look at some of these replacements. When we got the opportunity to do some what we call branding work, um, we ran by uh, that, that group. We sent the, some designs for them, which includes some of the designs for the front of our school that you've seen we've upgraded, uh, some of the pieces with our, our flags. Our flags continued to fall down outside the, the pole flags. So we upgraded some of those and, and replaced some of those. Um, and then when our marquee stopped working and it was so old that we didn't have any more parts for it, we had to get a new marquee. We did do some pieces to the front doors um, and to door 14. And then we had um, a young lady that wanted to uh, do as a part of her Eagle Scout project. She came in and she was able to take a look at some spaces in our building that was already designed to have um, some murals. And so she was able to do a number of murals in the building as a part of our Eagle Scout project that we looked at that could beautify our school, um, give positive messages. And so those are the things that have been done. Um, it's been really exciting to see some of those things take place. We've had a couple of little things going on here and there that I can share with you. Uh, since the spark, we've had a lot of people out of the building. I think the new doors really light up the front of the school and help it stand out a lot better than it did before. I've told students and lots of stuff, this isn't my school, it's your school, and I want it to be your school. And so you need to have a voice in the leadership and the direction of our school. And so really want to empower our students. We've used Principal's Cabinet and we'll continue to use Principal's Cabinet to be able to, to think about how can we make our school the very best it can be. Any other design changes or ideas do you have to make our school better? We want our school to be the very best it can be. Um, and you are a part of our school. And so we want your feedback. So feel free to reach out. We'd love to hear your ideas on how we can make it better. We always want to work with you to do that. This has been Lilia, Grace, Jackson, and Phillip signing off from the Morning Brew. Lake Braddock students Michael Park and Turk Bates have been working hard this year to bring diversified text not only to Lake Braddock, but also to all FCPS schools. Here's a look into how they are doing it. FCPS has students with diverse backgrounds from all over the world. Let's take a look at how diversify our narrative works to represent them in the English classrooms all over the county and country. DAWN stands for Diversifier Narrative, and it was a student initiative and is now also a nonprofit organization that aims to incorporate diverse texts into school curriculums. So Diversifier Narrative is a nationwide organization. It's all across America. So yeah, it's not just limited to FCPS. So one of our goals is to definitely fight to be anti-racist and promote productive dialogues on race and identity among students. So Dawn has been around for about seven months and I've been part of the group for about six. We spoke to an English teacher about her views on the group. Um, as a teacher who was 
is relatively new to Lake Braddock. I've been here, it's my fourth year, fourth year at Lake Braddock. Um, I came from a school that had a pretty rich, diverse book room. And when I came to Lake Braddock, I noticed that we could use some updates. So I've just been a pretty vocal proponent of updating the book rooms, trying to add authors who are more modern, who represent um, different backgrounds. I think the organization for diversifying text is, is really needed. I know as a high school student myself, I didn't read anything by an author of color or anything that had been written, you know, in the 50 years since before I graduated high school. The idea of diversifying text has reached outside of the Diversifying Our Narrative group. So SEAL stands for Student Equity Ambassador Leaders. And basically it's a good long way of saying that we try to bring equity and inclusion into FCPS and all the high schools that are in FCPS. The goal of the SEALS program is to uh, increase diversity, inclusion, and student voice in FCPS activities and to ensure that the activities that are done uh, promote and show how equitable FCPS can and is. Yeah, so the SEALS group is actually new to the whole county this year. It's been in the works for about three years, I would say, and it finally got approval to start this year. So it's inaugural year, and it's been really good to uh, be a part of it as the inaugural year. This has been Ryan, Palmer, Cade, and Peyton with The Morning Brew. During this virtual school year, it's not a secret that some grades have suffered. SCPS has had an alarming rate in failure in students in the past year. Folks, today we're looking at a pretty troubling and astonishing report out of Fairfax County, Virginia. Uh, the public school system in that county has released the results of an internal review showing that this quarter, Fs handed out to middle and high school students jumped by 83%. We asked 142 students their thoughts on online school. 77 students said it was harder, 54 said it was easier, and 11 said that they had observed no change. 9th grader Hadia Martin and 11th grader Camilo Gonzalez say they've noticed an increase in difficulty in online school and how long it takes them to complete their assignments. Mainly just keeping track of all the assignments and all the uh, work that we have to do in class and off um, offline. Personally, I've been getting less homework um, than what I would be getting in person, but the length it takes to complete it has increased. I feel like most of my teachers aren't really teaching anymore. They're just doing like lots of ed puzzles and then making us like kind of learn anything, everything for ourselves. What do you think teachers can do to help students who are failing or falling behind? Is I know one of my teachers, she does this Google form that we have. And if you have like late missing work or if you just have like questions, we fill it out. I feel like that helped a lot. I think like if you're failing or falling behind in classes, I think the best thing to do is just talk to your teacher. I think teachers should take in consideration, I know a lot of them are, um, take in consideration that most of these students are dealing with different situations, especially at home. Compared to at school, you know, you have the resources um, to reach out to teachers, counselors, and all that. I think more interactive lessons like incorporating cahoots or like Quizlets or all that. We spoke to Ms. Howard, an English teacher, on what teachers can do to help students while learning online. So I'm looking at uh, literature through the eyes of the pandemic. And I'm really trying to look at what it is I want my students to know in June. So I've had to really be flexible in my workload. Um, and I've also had to be very flexible in my time management. Uh, what in the classroom would take 20 minutes virtually takes about two hours. You know, I try to uh, elicit conversation from my students by asking, you know, hey, how's your time management? Or, um, you know, this is what's going on in my world, what's happening in your world. Hopefully, as more students begin to return in person, we will see a decrease in the amount of students failing and falling behind.
This is Yasmin, Cullen, Madeline, and Roberto signing off for the Morning Brew. This year's winter sports season has looked a lot different with all the COVID-19 precautions being taken. Here's a video explaining what's changed and how students feel about it. The Lake Braddock Winter Sports Athletes are continuing to play their sports even through the coronavirus. By masking up and abiding by the precautions, they are able to continue their sports at Lake Braddock and other schools in FCPS. Uh, the biggest thing is that we are all split up. We're in pods now, um, everywhere from blocks to hurdles and uh, throwing implements and pole vault poles. Um, a lot of a lot of sanitizing. We also spend a lot of time talking as a team about making good choices um, and taking care of yourself because you're also then taking care of your teammate. Uh, the current rules are if anyone in your program is um, exposed um, or sorry, test positive, your entire program's out for 14 days. Being there with athletes that are excited to be there and grateful to be there is really what made it honestly a whole lot easier as a coach to stay on the positive side. I mean, yeah, it's different, and everything's kind of just taking it day by day, but it's definitely different now uh, just because all the restrictions you have and not being able to have fans at games and wearing a mask during when we play. So everything is just kind of different in that sense. Um, but the game is still the game. Probably being part probably and like you're not allowed to you know like like usually like when you're like on floor or on bars or beam um like when you do like a good job the coaches come up and like hug you and stuff and like you can't do that this year which I'm like oh that's kind of sucky <laughs> well I enjoyed that we at least had a season uh, because like, you know, not every, well, especially with COVID and everything, we weren't like guaranteed a season. So I'm happy that we had a season. Um, but other than that, <laughs> I didn't really like it. No spectators allowed? No worries. Lake Braddock Athletic Leadership has made a YouTube channel for everyone to view sporting events. Even though you may have missed winter sports, fall and spring sports are still on the schedule. Just look up Lake Braddock Athletic Leadership on YouTube to find all of the live streams and videos. Also, follow them on Twitter to know when a new event is scheduled. Lake Braddock students have been helping and volunteering to make the media platforms more accessible and informative. Keep up the great work, Lake Braddock. This is Lauren Mickelson, Olivia Stack, Olivia Evans, Dylan Bates, and Samara Alexander signing off from the Morning Brew. As some Bruins are coming back to school for the first time, our, one, our mascot wanted to say, welcome back. We're brewing. Hey, 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 we get through it. Hey, 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 hey brewing. Come on, come on. We're going to do it. Hey, hey, hey. We all know this year's been a little crazy. This pandemic got the whole world changing. This year's been on the computer. But now folks are coming back to school, yeah. But shout out to everyone staying home. We know you're working hard, keep staying strong. Know that we miss you, it's been too long. We'll bear hug you when the virus is gone. Brew it. Hey. We get through it. Hey, hey brew it. Come on. We're gonna do it. Hey, hey. We're so thrilled to have you back in the building. Without you, we've all felt so empty. And yeah, sure, things will be a little different. We change it up because of the pandemic. We rearrange just to have a little space. We mask it up, please cover your face. As for the bathrooms, the max is two. And sanitize when you come into the room. Come on. We get through it. Hey, hey, hey brew it. We're going to do it. Hey. Hey. Whether you're coming in or staying online We know you've got what it takes to survive Because you're caring and adaptable Resilient, engaged, the world is at your call So here's to breaking through the new frontier And overcoming a challenging year We're sending love from the Lake Braddock crew Stay strong, just do what you do We get through it Hey, hey brew it do it, hey, hey, we're brewing, we 
get through it. Hey, hey Bruins, we we're gonna do it. Hey, hey, Bruins, baby. And now to your teacher and senior happy happy days. Thanks for tuning in to our monthly show. Well, the news is over. And our cups are empty. See, See you next time on The Morning, Morning Brew. Brew. Have a great day, Lake Braddock.